it's like the Easter Bunny. Yeah, and... I, I've completely lost <clears throat> her words. Yeah, well, maybe we should uh, move on from that part. Yeah. All right. So I've been playing some video games. I don't know if you've heard of this hot new game called uh, Mario Kart Eight. Oh yeah. And oh, you're doing on the Labo. Nice. Yeah. So. You can now play this thing on the Nintendo Labo, and when Nintendo announced it, I was like, hell yeah, I gotta play this. And it's not necessarily the way that I would like to play Mario Kart, but I think there's definitely an audience, particularly kids, that want the more tactile feel of playing Mario Kart with a steering wheel, like as dumb as I think the the Wii Mario Kart steering wheel was, that thing was wildly successful. Right. And so, like on one hand, like, yeah, giving kids or whoever wants to use the motion controls the option to do that, that's great. Um, but I think the better thing about this whole thing is that it gives you more uses for your Nintendo Labo stuff if you happen to have that handy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, okay, so let me ask you this in terms of the controls okay. with the Labo. So you come uh, from a fighting game background, which is uh-huh. extremely precision-based. <laughs> yep. So do you find that it's the lack of precision from the motion controls that doesn't work the, for you? Do you know what I mean? Like you, you'd prefer a controller or, or a physical steering wheel? Uh, yes. I think there's just, yeah, the, the, the digital precision in this particular game, in my opinion, feels a lot better. Uh, okay. There's actually an interesting quirk. Let me pull out my my Labo. Oh man, my Labo board right here, since the <laughs> the power of video. Right. So in the Nintendo Labo motorcycle game, it actually reads your steering in two different ways. So there's handlebars. So it actually reads this, and it reads tilting like this. So okay. you can actually like super fine tune how you're turning, based yeah. on those four. So almost like a um, or like a real motorcycle, basically. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with Mario Kart, this does nothing. All you're doing oh, okay. is tilting like this. So it does. I'm. I. It does not feel as precise as the Labo Racing. So had you not played the Labo Racing, do you think it would have been a better experience? Maybe. Yeah. Um, I would say that the Mario Kart is certainly a better game than Mario or Labo <laughs> Motorbike. Yeah. Uh, I think Labo. A little, a little more support behind it, I think. Yeah, there's more courses, yeah. more things to do. Like, Labo's motorbike racing is the most generic racing game they could have possibly made, and there's <laughs> very little to it. But it yeah. is better than some of the other Labo games on there. I'm looking at the house one. Oh, my goodness, that one's terrible. <laughs> um, But, yeah, as you can see, I just came in last place in that online race. Racing online with that thing was a terrible <laughs> idea. How many other people do you think were racing with Labo controllers? None. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So I'm very curious. I think that pairing mainline Nintendo games with Labo stuff is a really smart idea, especially since the Nintendo Switch is set up for traditional controls primarily. So if mm-hmm. you just want to do motion controls as an optional thing, uh, you, you have the option to do that without compromising the core gameplay of the other stuff. Yeah. Is there I know we've been burned by the Wii and Connect era of the past, but is there any sort of Nintendo mainline slash labo collaborations like this you'd want to see? Oh boy. Um See, I man, I've been out of the Nintendo ecosystem for so long. <laughs> Spoilers, I just joined again, but uh <laughs> um man, um I don't know. Maybe what are, a, what are you thinking about? I I just pulled that out of my. <laughs> yeah. You know what? So does a would you want a cardboard Wii Sports two? I don't know. See, I'm I'm of the same feeling that I, I don't. I think of it more of like the motion control specifically. Even the Labo, like I haven't used it. I know you've used it pretty. Uh, you've used it a lot, but I find it. Personally, it's kind of like a gimmick almost. I, I don't know if I would. It's not something that would sell a game for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if there's anything that I would, you know, really want, especially if it was being sold on the premise of being 
you know, mainly used with this system or with the, with the Labo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think of anything. I mean, I can see the racing working. Um, I don't know. Maybe if like, like a pilot wings or yeah, something that would work. Better. Um, what else? Yeah, it's tough. Like on one hand, I love the idea of Nintendo integrating Labo with their traditional games. On the other hand, I have no idea what the would, that would actually be. I think yeah. Labo works within the context of Labo specific software where like half the fun is building it. Or most of the fun is actually just building the stuff. Yeah. And yeah, then for sure. having the opportunity to mess around with it in some sort of playground that really takes advantage of the particular thing that you built. Yeah, definitely. I, I would say like, I would love a more expansive fishing game, but that doesn't really, t I guess maybe if they had it hooked up to breath of the wild and you could then throw the fishing rod in, maybe that would be cool. Yeah. I mean, it would, I guess my, my thing is just that like, if you've got the option to use either the labo or a standard controller, uh, if you're playing single player, I mean, chances are you're, you're, you know, you'll use the Labo until the novelty of it wears off and then you'll just go back to the normal controller, right? Yeah. And if you've got friends over, you know, it's cool. You can show them what it's like. But ultimately, if you're going to be playing, a, like, for instance, a, you know, a Mario Kart, mm -hmm. someone's got the controller, someone's got the Labo. The person with the Labo is probably not going to do as well as the person <laughs> with the controller, yes. right? So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think the big difference is, like, Labo's specifically targeted towards kids. And yeah, that changes definitely. the context of this conversation a lot. I just think like if they if they made a Labo Nintendo variety kit that had specific things that work for traditional Nintendo games as well as separate software, yeah. that would probably be the silver bullet. I just don't know what those that those cardboard things are that kind of work in the middle. Yeah. Labo Pokeballs. Um <laughs> maybe they did make Except the you pokeball wouldn't want to throw controller your controllers all around but they did make the pokeball controller for let's go yeah. pikachu and eevee that's right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there is precedent for that hmm. all right that's probably more than enough mario kart but i'm not done talking about mario